It's a beautiful morning at Hoffman Estates for the boys soccer 3A third place game. Naperville North is coming into the game off of a tough loss to Lions Township. Their opponent is Glenbrook North who returned to the state tournament for the first time in almost 20 years. Starting the game 14 minutes in, Jackson Stokes makes his way into the penalty area through the Spartan defense but he's quickly shut down by Gil Myers. 10 minutes later it's Stokes causing problems again as his cross hits Sam Lappin and rolls into the net. Naperville North goes up 1-0 and that would be the score going into halftime. Three minutes into the second half, Noah Radicke plays a through ball to Jackson Stokes who rounds the keeper and he slots the ball into the net. The Huskies go up 2-0. A couple of minutes later and the Spartans are attacking. Glenbrook works the ball to Ian Lee who cuts inside at his left foot bending one top corner. The Spartans cut the deficit to one. Naperville North looks for an instant response. Sam Hess plays a quick free kick down the line to Jackson Stokes who takes a quick shot on net that is punched to safety by Gail Myers. 11 minutes to go in the game as the ball is bouncing around in the penalty area until Sam Hess flicks it over to Noah Radicke who passes the ball into the net. Naperville North restores their two-goal lead. Glenbrook North's turn for some offense. Chase Pedersen launches in a long throw-in. It bounces to David Kaminsky who takes a shot, but it's saved on the goal line by Josh Pedersen. Naperville North still up by two. Three minutes to go in the game. Jackson Stokes drops a pass back to Hindo Alley who knocks in Naperville North's fourth goal. Huskies now cruising up 4-1. Just a minute later, Stokes sends in a cross finding Joel Ruderman whose header is knocked into the goal. The Huskies now lead by four. In the dying seconds of the game, Ian Lee takes a free kick scoring his second of the game. But it was too little too late as Naperville North wins the 3A third place game over Glenbrook North by a score of 5-2. to two. It was actually the first time the boys program has ever got a third place. Mm. Um, and so that was kind of a little motivation for the boys. They said, let's, let's do something no one's done before. Let's, let's win a third place trophy if we can't win the first one. Jackson, he was through on goal, but he very unselfishly dished it off to me. And um, I just shot it inside the foot. I was just trying to get on target. And um, I was just excited that to see it go in uh, on my final game of the season. And as a Husky, it just means a lot. And I think it was a perfect ending. Obviously, it's tough being in this game. Just like we wanted to win yesterday, but we knew we had to come here and at least get the result that we wanted. So after the first game or the goal, like obviously our um, like mood was down, and we just—I mean—I felt like it picked up after, and we just kept working and got a few more in, and yeah. I think the coaches had a very high standard for me and Noah, and they had really high expectations for us coming into the season. And I feel like, as he said, the first game was kind of iffy, but then we started to like work off of each other. Like, if Noah wins the header, I run behind, giving goes, and we've just been playing off of each other. And a lot of my goals, Noah has assisted, and I've assisted some of his goals too. Uh, well, I haven't scored this season, and Jackson was just drilling down the sideline, and I saw a little opening, and I knew Jackson would get the ball to me, so I just had to be in the right place, and luckily the ball bounced over the goalie's head. <laughs> <laughs> <So. laughs> 